Part four. Beware of Shanghai's wildlife. Remember Chow? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Somebody opened a little shop in their apartment. Kind of. You want to say hi? <laughs> he rented the apartment to someone else already. All right. Well, we walked all the way to the door and uh, just to find out that the landlord just signed the apartment Hello? to someone else just now. Wire. Huh? Wire. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, TV. Yeah, TV. <laughs> Since it's no longer available, uh, Chow is gonna show me a second apartment. Beautiful sunny day. Perfect day to do the laundry. So there's a secret path to find this apartment. Chow is here to lead me. This is the kitchen. The sink. This is the water heater. This is the landlord. Ni hao. This is the bathroom. This is the room with a little balcony with the washing machine. The view. Mattress is pretty old. All right, this uh, this one was not bad. Um, I think it has a lot of potential. It's a bit small and needs uh, a lot of cleaning, but uh, the location is nice and um, and it's uh, nice and sunny. Got a kitchen. Uh, I'll uh, think about it and uh, make up my mind soon. So I was able to negotiate the price of this apartment from. Uh, 3,600 to 3,500 is not much. I was hoping to go lower, but uh, it didn't work. So I'll um, keep looking and think about it. Lunchtime with Chow before uh, the day goes on. Some uh, rice noodle, Yunnan province style. So we take this out and put it in the soup and then put the rice noodles. Oh yeah. Mix it all. It's really hot. See, the meat is already cooked. Mm. Really good. So, on to the next visit. Uh, the next one is close to Shanghai Stadium. I got the help of a very nice gentleman, or else there's no way I would have found this building, number 72. This area is called the Longshan Village. Uh, quite a puzzle, but I found it. Hopefully, the tenant is still there. Going up to the fifth floor. Let's see if it's here. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, well, kind of. 503. So it should be the next one. Finally, I found the place. It's typical. Yeah, Walking right? in the kitchen. It's typical, right? Typical? You can find yeah. it. It's hard. <laughs> Very hard. This is the kitchen. This is the bathroom. Shower, so I can take a shit, brush my teeth, and take a shower at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> 
And then uh, this is the bedroom slash uh, living room. The bed is here. Some storage. A little sofa. A desk. Uh, no view at this time of the day, but it seems nice. Uh, a little bit of moisture, but it seems that the problem was resolved. Uh, and this apartment is near the near the railway. Washing machine is here. Hanging area with the view. All right, on to the next visit. I prefer visiting apartments during the day, but uh, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So uh, one more to go today, and then uh, I think I'll be hungry again. I'm always hungry. You gotta love rush hour. an endless hall of people. Crazy. Rush hour is always the same. Sixth floor. Penthouse. So we just uh, climbed to the sixth floor and yes. uh, it's the wrong building. Wrong building. <laughs> yeah, wrong building. So sorry. <laughs> More exercise coming. So, whoa, right now, uh, we're lost. <laughs> um, the, uh, the agent that uh, is supposed to show me the apartment doesn't really know where it is. So, uh, we're walking around hoping to find it. At least I know that if I can't find my way out, I can always buy some, some sugar canes or some other fruits here. Or even some beer. So, I'm not completely lost. There's still a chance of surviving. Oh, no code. All right, maybe, maybe this one is the good one. You're worried? Yes. Why? This part, and because I'm not sure. That's okay. Mm -hmm. If it's the wrong building, it's uh, more exercise. <coughs> Oh, so I have the code now. Yes. I can cool. come back whenever I want. Yeah. Yeah, please come in. All right, so this is the apartment. Yes. Took forever to find it. Beautiful kitchen with a very urban decoration. All right, now there's a washroom. Washing machine. And this is the room. Wow. Big TV, the desk, a little chilly. And this is my friend tonight. Yes, Mavis. <laughs> Mavis. Yes, Mavis. How did you find this name? Uh, from the internet. <laughs> this Mavis. Is a bird. It's a bird. It's a bird. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've never. This can fly higher, higher, higher. Mavis. Mm -hmm. I've never heard this word before. Really? Never heard nobody with this name either. So yes, you have a very yes. original name. Just use for Chinese. Okay. <laughs> this is the view from the apartment. Beautiful, exotic view. So how much uh, is it? Yeah, the price is uh, three thousand three hundred and sixty, but uh, plus ten percent the service fee. You know, service is include uh, the IE clean. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, twice a month and the Wi-Fi. So Ai is the woman that will come to clean here yes. twice a month. Yes. So what does she clean exactly? Mm -hmm. The floor. This place. This place. The mm -hmm. bedroom. No, because just it's this place. Yes, but because it's a personal place. So this is the personal place. Come. Okay. Yes. So she cleaned the bathroom yes, and the kitchen, and, kitchen. and the internet, and this yes, cost me ten percent more. Yes. Okay. All right, so three thousand three hundred sixty. Mm -hmm. So totally maybe uh, three six three seven. Three six three seven. Mm -hmm. And can we negotiate that price? A little difficult. A little difficult. Mm -hmm. We're we're so far here. I can almost I can almost see cows and and muttons out there. 
because we're so <laughs> far from downtown. <laughs> yes, so, yes. So maybe we can negotiate a bit. Mm -hmm. I will ask the landlord, but okay. I, I can't make sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. So today was not very conclusive. Uh, the first visit was not so great. Uh, the second one is only going to be available in January, so it's not very useful for me. And the third one, well, it was really far away from the metro station and right in front of a construction site, so uh, I'm afraid it's not going to be very pleasant living there. So uh, I guess that means there's going to be an episode... Five. I have to come all the way to China to eat KFC, or the way they call it here. Kendaji. I can't even say I eat this to feel like home because I never eat this crap. But sometimes it just can't wait and there's nothing else. <laughs>